Do you want to know how to put your own picture as a wallpaper on your PlayStation 4 console? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that coming up next on Your Six Studios. Now, the method I'm going to show you is very easy. You will need a mobile phone available to you so you can send pictures over to your PlayStation 4. Now, let's go ahead and begin. On our PlayStation 4, if we go up to Messages and select Messages, you can see I'm sending messages to myself over my mobile phone through the messaging app. And I can go ahead and select images on here and then view them. Now, I just made a second profile account on my PlayStation 4. So I can just send messages to that account. Otherwise, if you have a friend that doesn't mind you sending them messages to, go ahead and just send them a few pictures. And then to get this messaging app on your phone, it's very easy. Go to the Google Play Store or Apple Store and type in PlayStation Messages. Now go ahead and download, install, and open PlayStation Messages. You will need your email address and password to sign in. However, once signed in, you can go to Messages and select the account you want to send a message to. I'm going to go ahead and choose Action 6. On the bottom left hand side of the screen, you see a close pin symbol. Go ahead and select that. It's next to the smiley face. And under here, we can go ahead and select pictures. And you can take pictures directly from your camera phone or go ahead and go to Google and download them and then transfer them over to your PlayStation. I'm going to go ahead and select this picture right here of my headphones on my PlayStation 4. And then I'm going to hit the send button on the upper right hand side of the screen. So this picture now has been sent over the messaging app to my PlayStation. Now let's scroll up to all and go back to action six and just see if it was sent. Now it's look like it's not showing the thumbnail and it's corrupt. However, if I use the L1 and R1 buttons to move back and forth, you can see it pops up on my screen, even though it's corrupted. Now, if we go ahead and press the share button, it will take a picture of whatever's on the screen right now. And I'll put it onto our PlayStation 4 and put it into our capture gallery. So let's go to a different picture here and do the same thing by pressing and holding the share button down. And let's go ahead and take a picture here. So I just took three pictures through the messaging app on here. And I have a ton of them I sent to myself. Let's go over to themes now and put a custom theme for my background. So I have those pictures taken. Let's go to settings. Go down to themes. Select themes. Now we're going to want to scroll pretty much all the way down to the bottom of this menu. And then go to custom. Select image. Go to system storage. Or if you do have a USB storage device, you could do the same thing. And the files could probably be a little bit larger. However, I'm just going to go to system storage right now. Go to all. And you can see the different screenshots I took on here right now. I apparently took a lot more than I thought I did. Let's go ahead and go to this one right now. And select this by pressing enter. And you can see it's cutting off my face right now. But I have a custom picture of myself on there. Then if you want to dim the top area, you can go ahead and check mark here. Or if you want to select a different color for the menus, you can choose them there. Press apply or preview. And here is a custom picture of myself with my gaming setup in the background. And I think that's pretty sick. And here is a custom background with my PDP Sound of Justice headset. If this video helped you out putting your own picture as a wallpaper on your PlayStation 4, make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.